easy. When it comes to hormones and their optimization for muscle and strength gains, testosterone usually takes the spotlight. Unfortunately, there's been a steady decline in testosterone levels among men in recent years. One study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism examined serum testosterone levels in over 1,500 men across different time periods. They found that the average testosterone levels of a 60-year-old man in 1987 compared to a 60-year-old man in 2002 had declined by 1%. Another study published in the Journal of Reproductive Biology and Endocrinology observed a 10% drop in testosterone levels across all ages between 2006 and 2019. Further studies have indicated lower sperm counts, increased reproductive disorders, and diminished grip strength. The question then becomes, what's causing this decline? A fresh perspective on our dietary choices might hold the answer. While we often focus on macronutrients such as protein when aiming to build muscle, we must also consider the compounds found in various foods and how modern food processing methods might impact our hormone balance. Phytoestrogens, for example, are compounds found in food that mimic estrogen, and while they simply act like plant-based versions of estrogen, our bodies process them similarly to natural estrogen. Interestingly, even certain animal-derived products can contain high levels of this feminizing hormone. That said, if your goal is to optimize your hormone levels in order to build muscle, lose fat, and gain strength optimally, then there are certain foods you may want to steer clear of. And that's exactly what I want to discuss in this video. 7 High Estrogen Foods Every Man Must Avoid Number 1. Dried Fruit Dried fruit is commonly viewed as a practical nutrient source due to its portability and long shelf life. However, it contains substantial levels of phytoestrogens. One study published in the Nutrients Journal examined various dried fruits investigating bioactivity, impact on gut health, and health benefits. They found that raisins, cranberries, dates, and prunes all influence the body's phytoestrogen levels. Despite the perception of dried fruit as a healthy snack, it's still considered a processed food. Another study featured in the Foods Journal scrutinized four different types of dried processed fruits, including apricots, apple rings, cranberries, and prunes. They found that these dried fruits contain substantial amounts of phytoestrogen along with other compounds. Number 2. Legumes Legumes encompass a diverse group of plants which can sometimes be challenging to identify. They include alfalfa, green beans, peas, peanuts, soybeans, chickpeas, and lentils to name a few. These versatile legumes are consumed worldwide in multiple forms such as hummus, soybean oil for cooking, and the inclusion of peanuts in numerous delectable desserts. Despite their widespread consumption and numerous health benefits, legumes contain a notable quantity of phytoestrogens primarily in the form of isoflavin. One study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food analyzed the various compounds present in legumes and found the presence of enzyme inhibitors, lectins, and phytoestrogens along with other phytochemicals. So, while legumes may provide some great health benefits, it's probably best to consume them in moderation. Number 3. Soy Milk in the past, soy was highly demonized for its estrogen-like properties. More recently, however, this alternative milk trend has made soy products more acceptable. But is soy really as detrimental to our male hormone levels as we once believed? In one study involving 35 men over an 8-week period, researchers investigated the effects of soy milk supplementation. Their findings indicated a significant increase in estrogen levels among the group that received soy supplementation. And while soy can offer health benefits for certain individuals, if your goal is to optimize your hormone levels, it's probably best to keep it at a minimum. Number 4. 
red wine. Red wine is often reported to have health benefits, typically associated with low to moderate consumption due to its resveratrol content. That said, it's important to understand the effects of this compound on our hormones. Resveratrol is actually a phytoestrogen and when consumed in substantial amounts, it exhibits properties akin to regular estrogen. While it carries advantages in combating cardiovascular disease, the pros may not outweigh the cons specifically for men. This study, for example, revealed that even in individuals who naturally produced no estrogen, the phytoestrogens in alcoholic beverages like red wine could induce estrogen-like effects. Now, while I won't tell you to avoid red wine completely, I would suggest that you keep it in moderation. Number 5. Refined Carbs the typical Western diet is littered with sugary treats like cookies, cakes, and pastries, along with other refined carb sources found in crackers, sauces, bread, pasta, and rice. Research indicates that a diet rich in these foods can lead to reduced testosterone levels. This shouldn't come as a surprise since a high intake of refined carbs promotes the accumulation of body fat which, in turn, contains an enzyme called aromatase which converts androgens into estrogen. Therefore, as one consumes more refined carbs, insulin levels rise leading to increased body fat storage, subsequently elevating estrogen levels. To address this, consider reducing your consumption of processed carbs and opt for natural natural sources like potatoes, oatmeal, fruits, and vegetables. Number 6. Alcohol Alcohol consumption can affect testosterone levels in multiple ways. When you consume alcohol, for example, your body metabolizes ethanol, leading to a reduction in a coenzyme responsible for testosterone production. In fact, one 2016 paper concluded that chronic alcohol misuse can result in low testosterone and elevated estrogen levels. And if that wasn't enough, heavy drinking can disrupt sleep quality, hampering the body's ability to produce testosterone. In fact, one study published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine discovered that testosterone levels can drop within as little as 30 seconds after alcohol consumption. And again, while I can't tell you to avoid alcohol completely, I do recommend you avoid doing it excessively or before bed. And number seven, soda. Along with weight gain, diabetes, inflammation, metabolic disease, and cardiovascular disease, drinking soda can also disrupt your hormone balance. The high sugar content in soda, which contributes to weight gain and obesity, is readily converted into fat within the body, adversely impacting hormone levels. Obesity is a catalyst for disturbances in testicular function and an increase in the activity of enzymes that convert testosterone into estrogen. Furthermore, a study published in the Journal of Reproductive Biology and Endocrinology examined serum testosterone levels in a diverse group of of individuals aged 20 to 39. The findings indicated that individuals who consumed sugar-sweetened beverages had significantly lower serum testosterone levels. And while one can of soda isn't enough to completely destroy your testosterone levels, reducing your consumption of soda is a quick and easy way to improve your overall health. So there you have it, 7 high estrogen foods and drinks you must avoid at all cost. At the very least, reducing your consumption of the items on this list is a surefire way to improve your hormone levels. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.